Hello and welcome to the 49 tutorial in the Bootstrap Free Series. In this part we're going to be looking at disabled items within the Pager feature. We'll be using the source code from the 48th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a Pager setup and a line basically left and right, similar to how blog buttons are. So going forward a page or back a page. Bootstrap also allows you to disable the items. This is useful, for example, if you're on the first page and you don't want the user to be able to click back and vice versa. Bootstrap, like everything else, makes it really simple to implement these sort of features. So if we just open up our index.html, to implement it, all you got to do, not zooming that much, all you got to do is go to your list item and add another class. So I'm going to say I'm on the first page, add a disabled to the previous. That's all you got to do is add a class of disabled to the list item. And now if we run this bad boy in our web browser, I can see it is now disabled, whereas this one hovers, I mean, it, the mouse cursor changes when we hover over it, and this one just is grayed out. Plus also we get this little circle with a line through it indicating that it's not clickable. Now the next task, see if we can disable both items and see what happens. The next tutorial will cover labels. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. See hundreds of more videos like this one completely free. Visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.